Many people with serious diseases wish for a cure. With gene therapy, that may be possible one day. But that day is definitely not today. Safety bits have been old scientists using gene therapy as a treatment for years. Yet the technique is still being used on organisms when it has not been fully developed and can be extremely harmful to patients. Gene therapy is a perilous treatment technique in medical science that is costly, risky, and produces hazardous outcomes. In addition, many often take a cosmetic approach to gene therapy by creating designer babies. This physical enhancement leads to a lack of diversity in the gene pool. When this is a problem, the vector virus used in gene therapy can also spread to other cells, causing unwanted and harmful effects throughout the body. And the second proposition claims that there were, were early success in gene therapy. This claim isn't valid. The University of Utah's Health and Science Department cleaned up a teenager named Jesse Gelsinger with a liver disorder. Gelsinger, who had a liver disorder, participated in a 1999 gene therapy trial. He died of complication from an inflammatory response shortly after receiving a dose of experimental adenovirus vector. Shortly after this test, researchers tried to cure children lacking gamma C. Yet five of the children developed leukemia, a blood cancer. Researchers found that the newly transferred gamma C had, gene had switched itself into a gene that normally helps regulate blood flow. As a result, the cells began to divide out of control, causing leukemia. Therefore, when the proposition suggests that earlier treatments in gene therapy were successful, they are unfortunately incorrect. Also, the proposition claims that gene therapy is affordable and safe, yet research suggests otherwise. According to Naidu of Cohen & Co., his firm has estimated that for certain genetic therapy practices, such as spark therapeutics, therapy per eye costs $500,000. Also, a study published last year by the Nature Biotechnology found that current health care spending on hemophilia B could cost between four to six million dollars for a one-time payment. Not to mention that next year in Europe, they are launching genetic therapy treatment costs at 1.6 million dollars for a rare genetic disease, according to European officials. These are extremely high costs that only a small percentage of the population will be able to afford. Therefore, gene therapy should not be widely employed because of the cost, the risks involved, and the perfection of humans or designer babies, and the uncertainty of the technique. Research clearly proves that gene therapy is a very unpredictable technique and is still in the experimental process, which is exactly <coughs> where it should stay. And despite absurd pricing, the risky insertion of the vector, the negative outcomes such as inflammation, organ failure, or even cancer, the potential lack of diversity in the gene pool, and the uncertainty of variables involved, these con controversial methods are still being used on patients today. So please, do yourself a favor and ask why. Thank you.